think we are responding to a moment, a moment in the history of the Caribbean where there is need for a breathing space, as some people call it, a jumping start, as others call it, a new platform, as others have called it, and some new thinking. And that is why we've brought together the people who are interested in the Caribbean, both within the region and from outside the region, who will come together to have a clash of ideas in order to be able to address this issue at this point. Why is it topical? The world is undergoing major new realignments in power and in the paradigms of development. And the Caribbean must find itself in a position to adjust to that for the benefit of our people. Politically, it is now a time for the region as such to embrace these new ideas in the field of diplomacy, field of development, in the field of economics. And we hope that this will be a rich experience that will allow that interaction and conversation to take place. I think the name, in fact, is very apt. It captures really the moment that I'm talking about, and it will, in fact, generate what I call, what, what the forum calls disruptive thinking, and what I may refer to as a new dimension to the thinking that exists today. So I think it's an apt description uh, of the forum and I look forward to it being realized um, as a first step in a continuing dialogue over time. I think the first thing it will be able to define the areas of advocacy that the Caribbean must engage in in the world in which we live, in the three areas of economics, diplomacy, uh, development, and environment. I think it must also assist us in devising a strategy for negotiation between the global south and the world economy, and within the global south, the precise role of the small island economies of the world and indeed the Caribbean region. I think also it will allow us to be able to consider the different scenarios before us in shaping a new architecture for Caribbean integration and Caribbean development. And in that sense, I think it will all add to the very rich debate that has already commenced, but we need now to push it forward. We felt in shaping this conference with the actors that you have defined, that there were two basic objectives to achieve. One is the new role of the state, which will be hopefully a discussion on the issue of the catalytic role of the state in order to further development and developments. But there is also going to be a role of the state to who is going to drive the process of economic change. And that is why we have been very careful to bring into the planning of this conference the private sector and they will define, define exactly what road part they would like to see that must be supported by public policy and will be able to allow them to drive the process of economic change. Well, we'll have to wait and see 
what happens in the, in the forum. My expectation at this stage, it will open a new page in the conversation, but not a new page on the basis of what has happened only in the past, but a new page in what are the areas and the scenarios for the future. In that sense, I would expect the conference and the forum to have a very important and positive impact. Well, I think in the context of economics, the integration process will be looked at. The fact that integration here and elsewhere in the world have reached its limits and the need for embracing the new convergence process that has taken place in the world. I think the issue of Caribbean beyond today, in terms of what is required to attack the new vulnerabilities that we are facing, and to build upon the process of resilience and the vision that will be put into place will also be dealt with. I think in the issue of development, the issue of inequality, the issue of poverty, and the issue of development strategy that will be able to incorporate in a more forceful way our goals in this respect. I think on the issue of diplomacy, there is clearly a recognition now that in the changing political dynamics of the world, there is need to reassert yourself, not in the diplomacy of, of protests, but in the, in the diplomacy of engagement. And the conference should work, work towards an engagement uh, diplomatic uh, policy. Because civil society is now a key player in the governance of a society. Simple as that. And no development or changes in the aspects which we spoke about can take place without the active and positive participation of civil society. I think it is futuristic. I think it is based on a new reality. And I think it is aimed at inspiring further conversation.